in the earlier session we have seen about phase comparison scheme phase comparison scheme of carrier protection okay now in today's class we will be able to see the explanation for carrier aided distance protection okay so we have seen the advantage of your carrier protection is is high speed it offers a unit protection whereas when you go in for a distance protection it helps in your backup protection it is a non unit protection okay so each if for first we have seen about distance protection where its disadvantage of high speed is been overcome by your carrier aided protection but here in carrier aided protection the disadvantage is that you can use it only for the primary protection okay but as such in reality both your primary and the backup protection is required so we are going to combine both the schemes in order to attain the better benefit okay high speed is going to be offered by the carrier protection and the distance protection offers the backup protection now if you could see i here the line has been considered a transmission line whereas a three falls occurs in the protective section a and b and here the relays which are going to be placed at a and b are the time distance relay depending upon the distance the relays operating time is set with now here also considering the adjacent adjacent line also okay so now here if you could see this is your operating of your zone 1 with respect to b breaker and this is the zone 2 with respect to b breaker and this is with uh, zone 3 with respect to your circuit breaker at b similarly the same type of diagram if you want you can draw it for your or uh, zone at that is circuit breakers at zone a okay and now we will see this is going to be a circuit diagram it is going to offer a three zone protection so you are going to have zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 already you know that the z1 will operate immediately and it will cause the tripping of the circuit whereas your zone 2 and zone 3 after a time delay it will act upon usually if you see the time delay it is in terms of 0.2 to 0.5 seconds for the zone 2 and 0.4 seconds to 1 seconds for the zone 3 usually the first zone protects 80 to 90% of the line the second zone protects the remaining part of the first zone and the 50% of the adjacent line and z3 is used as a backup protection okay so z1 will operate immediately and trip the circuit whereas after time delay of t2 and t3 your z2 and z3 will work okay and here we have used a receive relay in order to send the signal carrier signal either from a to b or from b to a because what is the advantage of your carrier protection it aids the simultaneous opening of the circuit breaker at both the ends which is not achieved in your distance relay okay so to attain this we are using this receive relay in order to send the signals from one end to the other end okay now we will go in for the operation if you could see for a fault at f3 we will consider all the three points suppose if a fault occurs at f3 what will happen immediately the breaker at b will open to isolate the faulty section right but what is your carrier protection both the ends of the breaker that is breaker at a and breaker at b should be open okay but whenever a fault occurs at f3 immediately the nearing relay at b will open thus it facilitates the high speed operation which is achieved now but whereas a circuit breaker a do not trip instantaneously because this is nearer to it it operates immediately whereas the breaker at a does not open this breaker is not opening instantaneously for which once the breaker is open at a b it will send a receive signal a receive carrier signal to a so as to open the circuit breaker at a thereby facilitating the carrier current protection now if you could see this is a send signal okay 
for the zone 1 wherever you have kept it one relay will be here the other protection this is just for understanding both are at the nearing place but one will be here the other end of the line will be at the remote end in that case so whenever a fault occurs and it opens a circuit breaker at B this zone 1 will send the circuit that is whatever is your carrier signal to your remote end at A. So it will send a remote and A and immediately this circuit also will be tripped. Okay. Now we will move on to the next case that is what for instantaneous tripping we will be using this receive relay which will send a carrier signal to A for it to trip. Thus both the ends of the circuits are tripped. Right. Now we will move on to a fault at A that is if the fault occurs at your F1. What happens at F1? If a fault occurs at F1, immediately the relay at A will trip, at B will not trip instantaneously. So, what will happen? This receive relay will send a signal, carrier signal from A to B because it is a carrier protection, it will send the carrier signal from A to B and it will operate. Okay. And here whenever I am going to send this signal, it is going to be operating means what is that? If the presence of the carrier signal aids the tripping of the relay, it is your transfer tripping scheme as opposed to the blocking scheme we have seen in the previous circuit. Okay. Now we will move on to your fault at F2 in between. If the fault is going to occur at this place in between between your F1 and F3 immediately what will happen? Both the uh, circuit breakers at A and B will operate simultaneously and it will trip the circuit. Okay. So thus for this nowadays we are going in for your digital relays. So you are going to just use your electronic components there. So Z1 will trip immediately I have just given the electronic component OR gate whereas my Z2 zone 2 and Z3 will operate after a time delay. So as specified by the time T2 and T3 respectively. So depending upon wherever the fault is high accordingly we have given OR gate that is if either of the input is 1 or both the input is 1 the output will operate. So depending upon the input condition so trip signal will be given to the relay as so as to operate your circuit breaker. So thus three zone protection is aided that is both the high speed as well as the backup protection is aided. So this zone protection is going to be provided by your carrier signal whereas the zone 3 protection is going to be facilitated by your distance relay. With this I conclude today's session. Thank you.